Hello friends, welcome to Machine Tool Design Community. Today in this video, I am going to cover location principle or 12 degrees of location in jigsaw fixtures. Okay, see guys, whenever you are designing a fixture or a jig, there are two most important thing. One is the location, and another is the clamping. so clamping and location both i will be taking a very deep uh, videos on that be deep study videos on that but before that if you could understand what are the degrees of freedom in which the part can move in a space then you can understand that in which location or in how what will be the strategy of locating that product because if you want a product which is like you need to hold you need to make you if there is a product and that you need to make three holes on that product which are very accurate say example this is like 20 and this is like 30 and this is like another 20 so now if this 20 30 and 20 now i am assuming that these dimensions are very accurate and if you if according to engineering drawing if this is written like without zero without decimal that means this is general tolerance but let's assume in this video that it has got high tolerance zone so now if you want to have high tolerance zone this part should be located perfectly in all the directions that is in all the 12 degrees of motions so Let's go ahead and study in D how this represent. So this is my workpiece, or say example, this is my workpiece, right? And this workpiece has six sides, right? Everybody knows that a currently cube has a six side. So now, if I locate this workpiece on my board or my drawing. you can see that this is the x plus direction that means you have six translation motions and six rotational motion so how those represent i will just let you know so first you have plus x that is plus x one number then you have the same product can move in another direction that is minus x that is two number then this is x now perpendicular to that is the y so now you have plus y minus y that is two two more axes then you have z axis plus z and minus z so these are the six translational motions so now if i have this product okay i have i have listed on this part so now if i have this product this part is free to move x plus x minus x plus y towards me minus y so now four axes are plus x minus x plus y minus y now we have one more movement plus y minus y plus plus z sorry plus z minus z so how many axes x y and z axis in plus and minus directions so these are the six translational movements next we have six rotational movements so now if i have this x direction this is x direction and this is minus x direction so now if i rotate this part in clockwise direction so it is free to rotate in clockwise direction if i rotate this part in anti clockwise direction so we have one more uh, rot anti rotational direction in x axis so now if you have two axis two rotational axis that is plus x minus x same way y is in your perpendicular direction so plus y minus y so if you rotate it in clockwise direction plus y minus y same way x so same way x so it is 
plus plus z minus z so now you have six rotational axes which you can use it okay so now six uh, transverse axis and six rotational axis so now whenever you want to make a fixture you need to arrange this part in all the six or 12 rotations because if any time my cutter is coming here so this, this can have this can move in this direction in it is free to move to rotate in all the 12 directions so guys these 12 degrees of rotation are very important and to arrange this 12 degrees of rotation we have to make fixture so we have two guy two uh, principles to make fixtures that is clamping and location so you have to clamp it in 12 direction and also locate it in 12 direction so both the, so 12 degrees of freedom are the important parameters while designing any fixture so you have to take care of this 12 degrees of freedom that you are not losing anywhere the clamping or location in these degrees so guys now coming videos i will be listing different type of principles for location that is three point location four point location three to one location so nesting how we can nest the part so we i will be covering all the clamping and location methods in coming videos so keep watch uh, on the uh, on the listed videos so that you will not lose any kind of design principles i am going to cover uh, in future okay guys If if you like my videos, kindly subscribe so that whenever I am releasing a new topic, you will be you will be notified where through YouTube. And also, if you have any question, you are free to write in the comment section, and I will surely reply according to my availability. Okay, guys, have a wonderful design career ahead. Have a good day.